There's an interesting piece in the Chicago Tribune by Rex Hupke, which points out just like a very basic but poignant, relevant question about Brett Kavanaugh's sexual assault accuser, which is so simple, it's almost stupid, but it's not stupid. If she's the one lying, why does she want a full and thorough investigation, right? Like if she were lying, wouldn't she be worried that a full and thorough investigation would expose the fact that she's lying and even more so, especially since most likely Brett Kavanaugh is going to be confirmed regardless of what happens at next week's hearing about the alleged sexual assault. Why would she want to even participate in these hearings, which are going to lead to her enduring months, if not years of smearing from the right merely for speaking out, given that Brett Kavanaugh will likely be confirmed either way if the story wasn't true. And in the same way that 65 women or some such number came out of the woodwork to say that Kavanaugh is just a great guy, Christine Blasey Ford has also had endless people come forward and say she wouldn't make this stuff up. She wouldn't come forward now if this wasn't true. And her therapist notes match the story and every element of this seems to indicate that she's not going to just make this up out of thin air. And I sympathize with this thought process. If Kavanaugh were truly the innocent Catholic school choir boy that he claims to be, he should want the full and thorough investigation. And it's Ford who should be scared of an actual investigation, because if she's lying, the lies might get exposed. And there's actually a pattern here that matches that of the Trump Russia investigation. If Trump was innocent and I said this all along, he'd say, do the investigation. I'm president. I've got a lot to do. I'll cooperate. Otherwise, I'll stay out of the way. I'll be cleared. And that's it. That's the most direct path to the truth. If Brett Kavanaugh were innocent, he'd say, let's do a full investigation and hearings and anything you want, because I'm obviously going to be cleared. But it's not Kavanaugh who wants that. It's Ford who wants her claims examined. It's uh, examined. It's Ford who wants her allegations to be heard. She wants investigators to dig deeply into what she's alleging. And like Rex Hupke says in his Chicago Chicago Tribune piece, when someone makes outrageous claims, they don't say investigate this as fully as possible. When someone makes claims that they believe are not exactly true or spurious or deceptive, they don't say, let's do as many hearings as you want and get as many federal investigators looking into this because any normal person knows that they are going to get caught. And as I told you earlier this week, the hearings are being held to get hearings on the record and Republicans can then say, hey, listen, we did it. Uh, it's he said, she said in the end, Kavanaugh is uh, good to go onto the Supreme Court for life. So even further, Ford must know this. And the idea that knowing that this is most likely the way it's going to go, she would put lies in such a central and publicly viewable place doesn't make any sense. And by the way, we learned that the potential witness to the sexual assault isn't even going to be uh, questioned or part of the hearing. His name's Mark Judge. He told the committee he just doesn't want to testify. This is an appointment for life to the Supreme Court for Brett Kavanaugh. Subpoena Mark Judge and get him in there, right? Like there's, you've got a witness here. And that's another reason why it doesn't seem to me as though Christine Balsey Ford is uh, lying. She specifically says, hey, there's this other person who was there and that person has no interest in showing up. And if she's lying, could say, I wasn't there. This woman's lying. If he truly wasn't a witness, if he truly wasn't involved, he would show up and say that. And if he wasn't there, it would be insanely risky for Christine Blasey Ford to claim that Mark Judge was there because an investigation that's serious, any kind of deep probing into this could turn up that she made that up too. But she wants it investigated. So bottom line, if she's lying about the incident, if she's lying about Mark Judge's presence there, that would be uncovered by an, an investigation period. If Republicans think she's lying, they should also demand a full investigation so that they can clear Brett Kavanaugh, but they aren't. What Republicans want is to get Brett Kavanaugh confirmed as quickly as possible, get him on the court for life, 
they've reluctantly agreed to postpone the confirmation to have the sort of weakest and lamest of all hearings. And that's the reality here, that if the situation were that Brett Kavanaugh knew he was innocent, and Christine Blasey Ford was making this up. She wouldn't want a full and thorough investigation, but Brett Kavanaugh would. Am I missing something here? Please let me know your thoughts. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman, and the show is on Twitter at David Pacman Show. Today's program is sponsored in part by Blinkist.com slash Pacman. I've talked about Blinkist before. It's this awesome app that I've been using for several months now. And what it does is take the best and most critically acclaimed nonfiction books and condenses them into 15 minute audiobooks that you can listen to in one sitting. You could listen to 10 books in an afternoon. I know that many in our audience want to expand their horizons and learn more about all sorts of different topics, but we're mostly limited by time to some degree. I know I'm not able to read all of the books that I want simply because I've got other stuff going on. And that's why Blinkist is such a great tool. You can absorb the most important information and insights from a book in one sitting. And our audience can get a seven day free trial by going to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the video description. And after that free trial, if you like Blinkist and I think you are going to like it, you can continue enjoying thousands of condensed audiobooks for about five bucks a month. Go to blinkist.com slash P-A-K-M-A-N.